We have just seen over 10 million shorts enter the market on Bitcoin. What does this mean and what are we looking at next? Of course, we know we are at the very important range point of control support and having recently rejected still from the harmonic target. With these great amount of shorts opening, what does this actually mean? We can actually see those shorts, as you can see on this very candle right here, just over an hour ago, we had 11 million negative delta with that open interest increasing. This was coming into the previous day point of control. Do these shorts know something we don't? Is there a reason why they are shorting at such massive support levels? This is a crucial, important support. This is the range point of control. And just below that, we of course have the middle of our parallel channel. So a very crucial support zone. I'm gonna be talking about that in this video what we are looking at next. And of course, I'm going to have to be taking a, a little bit of a note on altcoins because that is where my full focus is now. So yeah, let's get straight into what we're here for. That's looking at the charts and giving you some education while we do that. So yeah, really simply, a lot of shorts opening today. And that is on a day where we are seeing a drop on the ES. We are seeing a drop on the NQ2. So the NASDAQ stock market, um, you know, S&P 500 mini futures here are taking a bit of a downturn. We are seeing a drop on Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, intraday forming a lower term time frame swing failure pattern. Uh, so this is a trade for all you traders down on the one minute touch chart, very aggressive lower term time frame scalp traders. You do have entry triggers and you do have trades, what I'm trying to say here. Of course, I'm taking more of the uh, swing traders, medium term time frame approach. But if you are a lower term time frame on trader on Bitcoin, there are still trades to be had. And yeah. It's a perfect example. SFP, uh, large, pretty large in <laughs> when you think about it, uh, over a percent bounce to the upside. So can't complain about that, right? Um, so what are we then looking at next? And again, I have made this clear from previous videos. My analysis has not changed, uh, but I will repeat myself to really emphasize this. I do feel Bitcoin is at an extremely important support level. This range point of control. Uh, on the middle of the channel. So this sits at between $65,800 to the range point of control, which we've bounced off of once, twice, almost coming in for that third touch. It's a very crucial support zone. Uh, the reason why is because if we are to lose this and flip it into support, we can actually see a very quick accelerated move to the downside on Bitcoin. And so if the bulls want to keep up pressure, of course, we've got monthly close happening tomorrow. Bulls are really going to need uh, to keep price above these massive support zones, okay? If we are to lose this, we're then going to have a new monthly naked point of control above us. We would have lost crucial support in this chart. Again, a reclaim can always happen, and we would trade and react to that data. But simply the fact of losing that level is not going to be good for bulls. It's going to be very good for the bears, okay? Uh, so yeah, I think it's a very crucial 48 hours coming into as we get the monthly close starting to come into the weekly close too, right? But really specifically looking at this monthly close and the importance of it, of where we're going to get this close below this very crucial support, or if we get the close above, maintain that monthly point of control support, which as I will show you very quickly, uh, what I am referring to, this uh, monthly point of control here, currently sat at 67.175, right? So bulls are gonna wanna hold that and then have a monthly point of control as support rather than resistance. So for me, I think it's coming up to a very important tie. Bitcoin, yes, is offering some very low term time frame trades, but for us swing traders, there's not too much going on. And while there's not really too much going on, right? For the past few days, we've just been chopping around here. Um, there is a definite, for me anyway, a focus on altcoins. As you can see here, I have altcoins uh, charted out that I've never heard of. I went through, I've been doing a live stream every single day this week. So every day this week, I've been doing uh, live streams for the champion members where we've been looking into altcoins. I've lined up some new alts that I've, again, spell coin, spell coin, uh, MBO coin, STG coin, right? One cat coin. Uh, some of these are like the meme coins, AI coins, but we're just going for that volatility. We're going for basically bringing it to a new era, no longer so focused on like the Tezoses and the uh, algos and the, the dots and more focused on some of these coins that are truly getting volatility, that are in strong uptrends. So we'll get STG today up 55%. 
So I'm starting to do that, uh, you know, shift of focus evolution. And at the same time, of course, I have now started my live trading series. This is a live trading series in a swing traders style. So I'll be having my limit orders placed, you know, waiting for those trades, once those, those trades have activated, as one did today on Pepe, where I had my limit order from Sunday on the uh, live stream that I done on Sunday, that entry hit today. And then naturally today, during my live stream for the champions, uh, we went in, we reviewed that trade where we're looking for take profit one. I actually ended up taking take profit one during the stream, locking in profits, uh, explaining where my invalidations are, the compound. So if you want to actually see uh, this from like a swing traders perspective on crypto, trading altcoins, trading Bitcoin, lining up the limit orders, you want to see the position sizes, you want to see how I manage those trades. That is what we are doing now for the champions, my style of live trading from a swing trader's perspective on cryptocurrency. And you're gonna learn an absolute, you're gonna learn a lot from this. And so far, uh, we've hit our first trade, we've won our first trade, and we've got all of these new altcoins, which I traded over the past 24 hours. So I charted over the past 24 hours, lined up all of these with setups and alerts ready for, for that next entry trigger. So if you're interested in alts, uh, this is the place to be right now. Uh, but yeah, really wanted to just let you know that if you want to see the live trading streams from myself, from a swing perspective, that has now started for the champions. Currently on that first trade, pinpoint sniping the absolute sat low on Pepe for a 3.5% bounce, which is now even bigger because we're getting some bigger continuation on Pepe as we speak. So that is absolutely wonderful. But this entry was right here on this absolute low. Um, but yeah, we've obviously took profit one and have the invalidation set. For Bitcoin, bringing it back to Bitcoin, I think it requires a lot of patience right now. We're in a little bit of a little bit of a position where we have crucial support below us. Of course, if we lose that massive support, it doesn't mean we're going to go straight to $50,000. We still have the harmonic target of C and D into the CC around 64K, right? We still have the psychological uh, level down here off of point C of the harmonic and of course the monthly just above that. So as with anything we have to uh, trade the charts understand massive context building here which is range point of control mid of the channel while that holds yes we can absolutely look towards all-time highs because this is a big support and while we're above and holding that support we can look for higher right that of course, just as if we lose support doesn't mean we go 50K, doesn't mean just because we hold this support, we're going straight to all time highs. We can be aware of the uh, value area high on this naked point you control at $71,000 still as a resistance, right? Uh, so yeah, for me, it's just building up the context. This is crucial support. We've got the monthly close coming up. If we can hold and close above this support zone, absolutely wonderful. Let's see if we can get the push to our next target, 71K. And then if we reclaim up to all time highs and onwards, wonderful, bullish scenario. If we end up losing this support, flipping it into resistance, we're looking overall down for lower, we can be aware, first of all, of that harmonic target. If you want to see how I am trading that with my position size, with my limit orders preset, how I'm going to be absolutely trading this in the time, right? You can get all of that via the new swing trading series that I'm doing on the exchange, you know, real capital, real trades, and very transparent, showing you every single order that I will be making. So uh, yeah, that's now started over via chartchampions.com. If you want to get involved on that, currently on that 100% win streak. And uh, yeah, I think over the next uh, you know few weeks, we're going to be taking so many altcoin trades. It's going to be wonderful. So uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Hope it's made sense. You know what I am waiting for, the bigger levels of importance. And you know, really honestly, I do feel it's crucial this monthly close that we have uh, in, well, just under now 48 hours, of course, but it's going to be very important really to see where this closes off in re correlation to the TPO uh, volume point of control that we have here. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. It was just a quick update. Of course, I'm here every single day for the champions if you want daily content uh, from myself. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.